Japanese who are unquestionably the leading experts on giant monsters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the mighty Peking man. What's more, they I want some the Peking man who just duck. special effects was Sun Masa Arikawa, who had already brought, brought King Kong to life twice in King Kong vs. Godzilla, and yeah. King Kong escapes. Mm -hmm. And so together, the mighty Peking man was born. <laughs> Cowboy. And then one day without warning. This brings you only an animal a week to work out a plan to out of it. I know the hunter, he just lost his girl. He wants to get away. You want her, we'll take it. No, I don't know. You're going to generate this in the Indian jungle, Johnny. And you work for I don't know, it looks more, I don't know, it looks more interesting than the American one. Yeah, <laughs> I would watch that because I saw this film and I really quite enjoyed it. So. <laughs> um, let's see, so, 
normally this is the point where I, I do a brief hop over to Indonesia and uh, do Lady Terminator, but it contains just a tiny bit of rejectable material, and I don't know. Ah. Uh. I don't know. Are there any children present? No. No. All right. All right. Anyone who's in charge? All right. Oh, um, you act like a child. Is that good? No. <laughs> I'm sure if we add up all of our ages and divide it, it would still be over 18. All right. Well, <laughs> in 1970s, sex and violence were the key ingredients in popular Indonesian films. This was much to the dismay of the Indonesian censors, of course, who were along with the rest of the government. Uh, they all sort of condemned these exploitation films. And it was not uncommon for filmmakers to send the censors an edited version of their movies without the offensive material, and then edit it back in after they received the right rating. <laughs> <laughs> Classy. But things got interesting after the government took over the world of marketing in the major films overseas. They began attending festivals and discovered that the art films that they had bought weren't selling, but what foreign buyers wanted was sex and violence. <laughs> Thus, Henry films like The Terminator, also known as Nasty Hunter. <laughs> it's just like Terminator, but without robots. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this. Sometimes the past should be left to memory. I want to see this now. <laughs> We showed this at Nick's house. <laughs> Why'd I just kill him? And I've seen it before. It is a fate. A tale of possession, revenge, insatiable desire. Magic can defeat magic. They they even got the eye cutting scene.